Hello guys from Federico Town. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the British player Andy Murray. Andy Murray has won in his career uh, three Grand Slams, uh, two at Wimbledon when he beat in 2013 Novak Djokovic, in 2016 uh, Milos Raonic, and he won one US Open um, uh, beating um, Novak Djokovic again. Uh, he reached uh, 11 uh, major finals in total. Uh, he was ranked world number one for 41 weeks. It's, it's astonishing because it was, it, is, it was at the time of Roger, Nadal and Novak. Uh, he was year and end number one in 2016. He won a total or of 46 ATP singles title. And uh, he had great rivalries, of course, with Novak Djokovic, with Federer, with Nadal. And when he came on tour, uh, Nadal and Federer were already established uh, player. And um, Murray has also won 40, 14 Masters uh, 1000. Uh, he won one ATP World Tour Finals when he defeated Novak Djokovic that year. And he had uh, that fantastic year in 2016 where he would win lot of titles consecutively. He won two gold medals, one in uh, at the London 2012 Olympics where he beat uh, Roger Federer and the other one was in Rio 2016 where when Murray was able to defeat uh, Del Potro. I think Murray was really that player who could uh, give troubles to the big four, the one that, uh, that won a lot of uh, titles. He also made uh, a French Open final in 2016, his only one, uh, where he lost in four sets against Novak. He made several finals at the Australian Open, five, five of them, uh, in 2010, 2013, and so on. Uh, he made also another final at the US Open in 2008, uh, a final where he lost in 2012 against Federer, and weeks after that final, he would then uh, go on to win in his uh, home. I mean, he won Wimbledon after a long time since it was since Fred Perry who won Wimbledon and Fred Perry won that Wimbledon three times. Uh, Murray, but it's impressive that Murray was able to gain the number one position uh, overtaking Novak. I mean, he played in one of the most difficult times in the ATP tour. It's true that Murray is not back to his level maybe he will never be uh, as good as he was before maybe he will not win another uh, grand slam unfortunately but i like murray he was really a, a dedicated champion he had a lot of commitment for the sport i think uh, during that time he deserved to be world number one uh, it wasn't just luck it was really a great ability he worked for that Many years he was uh, for a long time world number four, world number three, or world number two. I mean, he battled it out with Novak in 2016 to gain that position. Um, it's true that, that Murray now is outside even the top uh, 50, 90 in the world. Uh, he had two hip surgeries, unfortunately. I think. Uh, he can maybe still maybe win some titles. I don't know if he's going to make it and win the the big ones. I think Murray probably is going to retire before Roger, Novak and Rafa. That will be a bit bizarre, but uh, he would have risked to retire uh, last year when he had that injury, when he had the press conference and he was very uh, emotional. It's true what he did in the Olympics is simply fantastic, winning the gold medal uh, consecutively and uh, staying in the top position for 41 weeks uh, and then he had uh, a little problem there uh, with the hip that ruined everything in the next years then he came back after the the operation but we can simply say that he had uh, of course he still has a fantastic career what he did uh, is incredible he's a great athlete uh, his playing style was a good one, I have to say. I'm not really a big fan of his, but uh, he could really, in his day, give troubles to the uh, to the big, to the three guys there: Novak, Federer, Nadal. Uh, he even beat them regularly from time to time. It's true that at the beginning with Novak, it was a balanced rivalry, and then it was not because at the end, the total and the head-to-head -head between Novak and Murray is 25 to 11, which is not balanced. 
as for Federer and Murray is 14-11 for uh, Federer and with Nadal not super balanced but guys thank you very much that's it very good time bye